welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 468. NASDAQ's up 460. S&Ps are up 101. Gold contract up $18.20, trading at 1753 an ounce. You got silver up 51 cents, 19 dollars five cents an ounce. Platinum's up 1750, 881. You got uh, copper up eight cents, 346. Notes and bonds. This is the wild one, man. You get the 10-year note up 10, 10 ticks, trade trading 142.15. The 30-year up one, uh, up 11 ticks at 142.15. And king dollar, king dollar uh, is down 715 ticks, trading at 106.477. The euro is at 101, the yen is at uh, 136, and the British pounds is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? So the Federal Reserve come out, got the three-quarter point. Uh, it raised, so we're 2.5 bank to bank right now. Bottom line, folks, the market didn't even blink. It didn't even blink. I mean, you know, normally you get an up and down on it. Didn't even blink, man. It just kept going uh, topside. So if we take a look at this um, so SPY first. Now, this is going to get so interesting, man, because the SPY could actually do the number. We need 20 million more in this SPY. And if, you, if we get it, guess what? You're going to have a monster ABC structure on the way up, okay? This is a 70, uh, 20, 20, 29.8 to B, which would uh, get you uh, somewhere. Let's see, that'd be 420. And 414, 417 is the next swing point. And yeah, that's, this is gonna be intriguing, man. The bottom line is this market wants to get up to the uh, June 1st level. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do you see in the NDX 100? Bottom line. Same type of setup. Uh, we'll see. It looks to me like the, the, the NDX is not going to do it today. I expect it will do it tomorrow. 308.59 is the number. You know, you, you reach the 308.59. Now, what's going to be intriguing is that the June 1st level and the NDX is, uh, the August, uh, June 1st, yeah, is that 314. Well, it's going to blow way over 314. Uh, 308. Yeah, you get 28 bucks. So you're talking about... Uh, uh, they get, that's 323. Where's 323? So the swing's 314. 323 is the next level, 330. That's how this baby's set up here. And if you want to see something wild here, watch this, folks, okay? Because if you're into day trading, we had an ABC structure up in the NQs this morning. And, you know, bottom line is that this is a very large one. It's like, okay, man, are you really going to do this today? Well, it did it, man. And here it is. You know, you can see it's pretty clear, man, but it's, it was insane. And it was right off the bat, man. I mean, you can see at 10 o'clock, well, 9.30 this morning, blows away the B point. It was a monster ABC. Your price projection was 12520 And, you know, when that broke that ABC, you were only at uh, 313 So um, if you understand ABC structures... We're in an ABC market. We're, we had been in an ABC market all the way down. Bottom line, did it. Now, guess what? You are getting in an ABC market on the way up, and it's going to blow some minds here, man. That's the bottom line. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have? Gold contract finally caught a bid. Bottom line, you're up 19 bucks. The Let's go take a look at your volume characteristic out here. Okay, we're still going to need more volume. We only got 106,000 contracts. It's not a lot of contract volume. Let me see what this is taking out. You probably have a small ABC up, though. Let's see. Okay, so, yeah, you do. Let's see what is that going to be. So you get 1755. Okay, so you get a 61 A to B, which gets you 71, 81, 91, 87. 1787. You get an ABC up right now to 1787. 
And it's going to be 1808, folks, inside the gold market. 1808, that's ice. You know, we'll see how it handles when it gets up into that level. Good old King Dollar. King Dollar is cooperating in a monster way out here, and that's what it needs in order to basically the market to get the higher price. So what we had out here today is that King Dollar failed at 107,426. You benchmark, just keep your eye on this benchmark because we're below the benchmark again. The benchmark we're talking about is 106,729. Now, here's the kicker, man. If we can get the price spread that we got today, tomorrow, you have a total break of this trend. And that would be saying that the doll is going to go to 101,297. If we get that, folks, we get that break. This is where this is really important, understanding currencies. Because we, the correlation is direct between the U.S. dollar right now and the stock market. And that changes, too. But the bottom line, it's been direct, and it's been direct, really direct for about a month, month and a half, two months. The bottom line, if you get that break, you are going <laughs> to... The commodities will run, the stock market will run, the breathing room in the market will be exceptional. That's the bottom line. And you'll see that, uh, and you'll see it very quickly. Uh, you got, what, you, what Powell got out here today, the bottom line, is that, and this is, this is wild, man. You can see they went up three quarters of a point. He says he's not backing off also, okay? And the market just doesn't even look at it. Doesn't, they, I can tell you, for, at 2 o'clock, and even after he started talking, well, at 2 o'clock, it just didn't move, man. I mean, you know, normally you can go up 20 S&P points, down 20 S&P points, okay? But didn't move. It didn't move. And all of a sudden, as soon as it didn't move for like 5 or 10 minutes, you know, the market realized that, oh, we're going higher again. And sure enough, that's what ended up happening. As soon as he started his uh, news conference, um, you know, bottom line, it takes off again because then there's more basically disclosure of what they're looking at. And, you know, the disclosure is the same disclosure he's done every single time. He's going to look at the data. And what did change is that now they say they're going to go meeting by meeting. As soon as they said they were going to go meeting by meeting, that's when the market took off in a monster way because they were pushing out the analysis much further. Now, bottom line, is going to go meeting by meeting. Dow Industrials is up 447, NASDAQ's up 445, S&Ps are up 98. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.